Hey there guys, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at how we can display your ammo for your second weapon. At the moment when we run over the second weapon, shoot a couple of bullets, a bullets and switch between the two weapons, you can see it is still showing the AK-47 weapon ammo. So what we need to do is go into the heads up display and change our function a little bit in a way that it will switch and display different ammo types based on the weapon selected and we've already got a system for that so this little tweak is going to be really straightforward and really easy. Now what we also need to do is set up a system whereby the engine can tell which weapon is selected and then reduce ammo based on that and that is going to be something that we create a little bit later on but for now we are going to focus on the heads up display stuff so what i'm going to do is open up my fbs hud and then after opening it in the bottom right hand corner you will notice you have two counters the one uh, the main one is your current magazine and then the rest of it is your remaining ammo so however many reloads you've got left essentially so what I'm going to do is open up the function which tells the engine what number to display on here and getting to that is inside of the details panel. So what I need to do is go to details, text and with this you can see we've got a function already. I'm going to press go to function by pressing the little search icon here and within this I can tell it to display different types of ammo. Now as of right now, you can see it just casts to the third person character, gets the equipped weapon which is your primary weapon, and then displays the ammo for that and there is no way that this is going to change. So the way that we're going to do this is by moving all of this along, and then before the return node, between third, uh, cast to third person character and return node, I am going to use the switch on integer node and what this is going to do is it's going to allow me to do different things based on the input value and the input value that I'm going to put into here is the weapon selected so if the weapon selected is the AK-47 I can tell it to display the AK-47 weapon if the weapon selected is equal to the M4A1 I can tell it to display the ammo for that so I'm going to start off by filling in the input. So the selection for this is as third person character, drag that out and type in get weapon selected. This is one of the variables we created already. Now with this, we need to break this default pin. We don't need it anymore. So I'm going to hold down alt and just click that to break it. And what I'm going to do is create a couple of pins just like that. So I need 0, 1, and 2. And the reason why I've got those is because our AK-47 is number 1, and number 2 is our M4A1. And the way that I know that is inside of my third person character, down at the bottom here where we did our switching, weapon selected 1 was our primary weapon, and number 2 was our M4A1, our secondary weapon. So having said that, I'm going to go into here, and with 1, I want to tell it to display the main ammo, just as it was before. So getting a reference to equipped ammo, getting that, and then just turning this into text to return onto the screen. What I need to do for the M4A1 is, as third person character, get secondary weapon, and then with this, we are going to get a reference to ammo once again and then just use two text so copy and paste this by selecting it pressing ctrl c and then i'm just going to hook this up to the value for the return node i'm simply just going to paste this in just like this and i'm going to hook this up to number two so if weapon selected is equal to two it is going to display the secondary weapons ammo and I'm going to hook it up just like that. And now if we compile this and then close this and jump into the game and press play and run over, it's going to say I picked up the M4A1, that's all good. I'm going to shoot a couple of AK-47 bullets 
and press 2 to change to my second weapon and you can see now it's jumping between 16 and 25 because in my M4A1 I've got 25 ammo, in my AK-47 I have currently got 16 ammo. So what I need to do then is just do the same thing inside of my FPS HUD for this second ammo counter. So I'm going to do the same thing, just select it, open up my function and this time we are going to get the max ammo. So do the same thing over here, which was switch on int. And then with this, create a couple of pins, 0, 1, and 2. Break this link and hook up our normal for our equipped weapon to 1. And then as third person character, get your secondary weapon. And with this, just get your max ammo move these down a bit to make it nice and clear and then just copy your return node and your two text and just hook it up just like this and then from there both the max ammo and your current ammo should work so let's test this run over to the weapon shoot a couple of bullets reload and then from here if we press 1 and 2 it should work now bear in mind, at the moment, it's not showing my max ammo. And I think the reason why it's doing that is because inside of my graph, I didn't put in my selection here. So just make sure you do that. Get weapon selected and hook it up. And the reason why it was showing nothing is because it didn't have any input to work with, essentially. So if we compile this again, press play, jump in. We got the current ammo there. That's all good run over the weapon, press 2, you can see it's switching just as it should do and our ammo switching system is working. I'm going to end the video here but in the next video we are going to be focusing on getting the engine to reduce the M4A1's weapon ammo when that is in use. Anyway guys, once again, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.